Right, so I've got this list of questions already before we go out for a walk. And I just need to show you guys what's happening outside. Oh my god, is it snowing? Bye, say goodbye guys. <laughs> 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 that camera out of my face. It's going up to nine o'clock. I don't in, care. In the morning. I don't care. I've got, I'm a lady of leisure. The clocks have gone forward too, so you should be wide awake. Oh, you're joking. So I've lost an hour. Yeah. I've gained one. Um, I've lost one, haven't I? Well, yeah. Hurry up. Get up. Uh. Oi! Get up, you lazy sod. Your breakfast waiting for you and coffee's out. Can I see if you should join me? Where's my breakfast? You shout me for? It's here. Where's my coffee? You shout me for? It's there. And I just need to show you guys what's happening outside. Oh my god, is it snowing? It's snowing. That's insane. It's snowing. That can't be right. It must be a freak. Freaking nature. It's starting to come down quite fast too. It's snowing more than two days ago. That's just nuts. So, definitely stuck in the house today. Oh. Right, we're up and dressed. Lee's doing some ironing. Yeah. What are we going to do for washing? Well, my mum said she would do it, but I'm just going to have to just I'll wash things in... Slacks in bath? In bath. I've just found loads of clean underwear in there, what I put in the box. Oh, good. I need a top up actually. So, um, that's good. So, we're going to venture out now, aren't we? And um, try and get some fresh vegetables and things like that. One thing that I've just realised that we've forgotten at the lodge was the slow cooker. So, I can't make like a stew or anything like that because that would have lasted a couple of days. And just, des I mean, tonight we're having Chinese um, chicken curry, but instead of chicken, we're having corn. But the only problem is I don't have a white onion. Or do I? Uh, there might be. Oh, yeah, I got a white onion, didn't I? Well, we might not have to go out there. Some peas. Some chicken. My mum's just got a, uh, a delivery, no, not a delivery, a collection sort at a local farm shop. Um, she was running out of veg and fruit, so that's going to be available on Tuesday, it's Sunday today. So well, we'll that's go not bad. And collect that. We might just phone them and, and go and tag some things on. Tuesday, yeah. Go on then. Need some chicken breasts hey, if we then. need some chicken breasts if we can. I'm but I do need to get out of the house. I need to get some exercise. And uh, let's go and walk down like an old railway line in woods where we're completely away from everybody. Once I finish my chores. Well, well, that'll take you two minutes. I You've only you got two chores. I'm watching a Harry Potter fun, are you? I am, it's on upstairs. Um, we're having a Harry Potter fun day with the patrons. Everybody's yep. watching their own versions of Harry Potter. We're doing two I'm days. I'm speaking dipping in and out of um, Discord to chat about it. So we're on uh, the first one, Philosopher's Stone. And all the patrons' kids are doing a little. Um, We've set him a quiz, haven't we? Yeah. How many times certain words get mentioned? Yeah. So and then... Um, keeping big things busy, isn't it? Coming up with ideas. It's keeping us sane. Um, tonight we've got a voice chat. Um, ghost thing. stories. We're doing ghost stories. What I might do is I might push it forward to 8.30 actually because then most of the patrons' kids are going to be in bed, do you know well, what I mean? Yeah, and the Americans can join in. Yeah. Hi Americans. So even though it won't be atmospheric when it's going to be light over there because it's like the clock's going back today. So, Florida is now five hours behind again, isn't it? So, do you want to go and make a list of fruit and veg and phone that farm shop? And what we need to do is make a list of what we're going to have for meals and see what we've got. Well, I'm in. Right. Just had a delivery to the doorstep. Homemade cookies and flapjacks from one of our neighbours. I want flapjack, please. And one of our other neighbours is. Um, you can have a tea med. And one of our other neighbours is kindly picking us up some uh, food for my sister and the girls because they're going to a farm shop. I just, I just love how everybody's kind of coming together in these 
times. Trying times. Yeah, and helping everybody out. It's so nice to, to see. Uh, my mum's managed to get a delivery at this farm shop, which we'll be uh, picking up on Tuesday. So my sister will have some food today. I'll go drop that off today. Just does us, Danny. No, we're fine for a week. We're having a look in um, fridge and freezer. We're fine. We've got meals planned out we've from Monday to out. Friday. And we've probably got another four or five days from frozen to put your mum's. Yeah. So yeah, we're fine. And that's, that's really nice uh, that everybody's pulling together. So you're going to make a cup of tea and we'll have a flat jack. Um, and then, oh, sun's out again now. Nah. It was freaking snowing a minute ago. Right, we need to get out as soon as we've had this cup of tea, get some fresh air. And then, I'm going out in snow. It's snowing. Hmm? It's not snowing. You just said it was snowing. We need some exercise. And then I've got a Disney tag list of questions. We're going to sit down and answer a few of those in this video. Um, so, and what kind of stuff? You'll find out when it gets to that scene. Yeah, but we're not Disney experts. No, no, it's Disney. things like our opinions on Disney things. Oh, well, I can do that, yeah. I've, plenty, I've got plenty You've of got opinions. Plenty of opinions, yes, Ooh. everybody knows. Right, so I've got this list of questions ready before we go out for a walk. Just to explain, we're dropping some Disney into the vlogs because we're conscious yeah. that we're not doing as Disney stuff, so we're doing this tag, well, partial tag video which we'll split over the next three vlogs. Well, we wouldn't have been doing as Disney stuff anyway until... No, but we'd have done something Disney-ish. We can tell you when we're we'll we'll going. By now. We can tell you when we're going to go now. We are going to fly to New York on the 30th of uh, 30th of April. April, stay for four nights, then fly to Orlando on the 4th of May. Yeah, and then we're going to stay there for two and a half weeks. Yeah, it? and then we're going to come back on the 24th of May. Yeah, so oh well. Yeah, what but a dream mm, for everybody at the moment. Uh, right, so questions. I've got 30, but I'm just going to drop 10 in today, 10 in tomorrow, and 10 in the next day. So, it is a Disney tag question <laughs> list. So, question number one. First time you went to Disney World was in the year 2000. We yep. went together. With they had the Epcot ball. They had 2000 on the Epcot ball. With a hand. I, I used to like that. I think it was 1999, actually. It was the year that it was... It was... It was no. It was, it was on in advance. No, no, no. We went for the millennium in 2000. Are you sure? Right? Yep. We went in 2000 with my mum and dad and my sister. In the um, February, didn't we? And yep. we were there for St. Patrick's Day. Yes, we were. So it was the end of February. As far as I remember, it was beautiful weather. It was a great time to go. It was. Favourite Disney World Park? Epcot. Epcot. Followed very closely now by Hollywood, Hollywood Studios. Studios. Uh, um, we, we think we're thinking... We're in synchronisation. Um, because of all the, the great rides there. Rise of the Resistance, Galaxies... Uh, Smuggler's, Smuggler's Run, Run Tower, Tower of Terror, Terror Aerosmith. Aerosmith, Slinky Dog. Oh no, I don't like that. Oh, I like Slinky Dog. How do you like Slinky Dog? It's a bit boring, it's just a roller coaster. Um, number three, favourite land in Magic Kingdom? Ooh. I would probably say. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know. Not Fantasyland, because it's full of kiddy stuff. Crappy stuff like Small World, it's Small World, Winnie the Pooh. Not this Small World, please. Um, I want to say Future World, but I can only think of Space Mountain in there. Um, no, I think I like Frontierland. For what reason? Because it just has a, it, it, like it takes you away from, it just, I don't know, it's that old Wild West. Mm, I'll say it's Future World. Is it called Future World? Future Tomorrow, Land? Tomorrow Tomorrow's, Land. Um, just because of Space Mountain, that's my favourite Future night. World. And call yourself a Disney expert. Well, no, Number four, favourite on-site hotel? Mm. Polynesian. It has a feel about it. It does, but I also like the Grand Floridian. Mm, that just reminds me of the TV series North and South. If anybody remembers that, comment below. I liked it when we went up to that um, bar in Grand Floridian where we were overlooking everything. That yeah, was fantastic. that was nice. But I, d I don't think I'd like the hotel. I mean, I would because obviously it's like I love to the piece to the resistance, whatever the saying is. But I think I prefer um, the Polynesian because it has a unique feel and an environment okay, Polynesian. and atmosphere. Closely followed by Anim by Wilderness Lodge. Oh no, Animal Kingdom Lodge. Finished? Yeah. Number five, favourite snack? In Disney? No. Rather than Blaze Pizza? Down Road. Blaze Pizza. Does that count? No, I wouldn't say so. That's a yeah, Disney but we're not snack experts because we don't really have snacks. No, we're not. I mean, I would probably say... Cosmic Rays. I don't like Cosmic Rays. I No, but I would say my favourite Disney snacks is not actually in a Disney park. It's the... And it's not a Disney snack? Yeah, it is. No, it's not. It's a Disney hotel snack, actually. It's the um, sandwiches and waffle fries at... Is it Giza Point? Point. 
in Wilderness Lodge absolutely yes. love their sandwiches and waffle fries. Yeah, and they have like decent nuggets mm, rather than yeah, those shit that um, Francis tells us about. If you've never been there, hi Francis, if you've never been there, Giza Point in Wilderness Lodge, it's amazing. They're more like chicken tenders, but the waffle yeah. fries are amazing. Number six, I'm not sure what is answerable for this, favourite souvenir. We're Ooh. not really a big sort of We're Disney not merchers. Buy, buying thing. Well, it's got to be a bauble because it's the only thing you bought. Bauble, yes, of course. Thank you for thinking of that. Any any of the baubles that we've got. I don't buy Disney merch. Um, number seven, favourite table service. I've probably got to say Narcosis for no. me. So well, you know what my answer's going to be, so... Or seven, nine dragons. No. Ohana's it still takes the biscuit. The evening meal for Ohana's. I didn't like the character breakfast. I don't like any of the character breakfasts, actually. Because the food's the same and the characters are just... Well, well, anyway, anyway, Ohana's evening meal. That was amazing. All of it. Um, number I want it now. eight, favourite counter service. Um, mm. I'd probably say Cosmic Rays. I really like is that it. Not, that's the same as Quick Service, isn't it? I counter presume service. so, yeah. I really like it there. No, counter service is just chips and burgers. Um, I, I'm guessing actually maybe the Giza Point is a counter service. Well, it is, but you, you can sit, down. sit down and it has a, a counter service. No, well, we didn't go to a counter where it's served. There's a counter at the side, but it's the yeah. symbol of foods. Yeah. So probably geezer point again, then I would say. Favorite character dining. Oh, so Lannis. far for me, you think? No, so far for me, I really like the Crystal Palace. I thought that were really yeah. nice for breakfast. That was mainly because Chris and Jen were there. Yeah, but the I, food's but the same, no matter where you go. Well, yeah, I, I like the fact that you could have like mimosas. And I just like the setting. They and weren't included, you had to pay extra for them. Oh well. And I liked the um, uh, the characters as well, they spent a lot of time with us. Yeah, they did actually. Um, Least favourite garden grill. Yeah, so far. And number 10, which we've got to that quickly, is favourite ride. Ooh. Well, it's going to have to be Flight Passage. Oh, I've got three to choose from. You can only choose one. If you had to ride one right now, what would you choose? Soaring, Flight of Passage, or... Tower of Terror. Soaring's gone now for me. I, I, it used to be my favourite okay. thing. So it's down to two? No, it's not, because there's Rise of Resistance now. Mm, we've only done it twice. Yeah. That's more role-play than anything else. I have to say... Does it, do, can you count Disneyland? Because if it's if so, then Guardians of the Galaxy goes to the top. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, what does it say? Let's have a look. Well, just his favourite ride. Right so, then, yeah, Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy. Of the Galaxy in Disneyland. Guardians but, of the Galaxy blows Flyer yeah. Passage off the face of the earth. Guardians of the Galaxy. Let us know, guys, if you've been on that ride. But in Disney World, it's a toss-up between Flyer Passage and Tower of Terror. Flyer Passage. Mm. Flyer Passage is immersive. Guardians of the Galaxy is a wow yeah. ride. Right, so that's the ten questions. We'll do ten more tomorrow. Are we going to go and try and have a we walk? We need to get some exercise. Before it I'm starts. getting cabin fever. Yeah, me too. I think it's going to start snowing again. Might look up the sky. Sound work, come on, let's go. Right, we're out for a daily uh, exercise, but we're struggling to get anywhere where there is no one. Uh, it's much easier at the lodge to find the people, uh, to find places be, where there is no one. It might actually be worth driving back over to the lodge just to get some fresh air and then come back again. We can also get some fruit and veg from that shop. It's nice, it is nice to be out and about and get some fresh air because I am starting to climb the walls a bit. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> we're only on a few days. So, uh, I don't know, I'll start playing some online games or some word with friends and stuff like that. Well, I'll tell you what we'll Monopoly. do now. We'll have a drive now to see if we can see any like um, farm shops that are selling fruit and veg outside. Just so we know. I refuse to go into Tesco and Alvin. No, well, we don't there need are to. other alternatives. And I know, well, we've got deliveries and things, so we don't need to. So we'll just keep walking. No, but it's nice to see what's available for when we do need it. <laughs> right, it was bleeding freezing, so we've cut the, cut the walk short. And just as we were arriving back home, one of our neighbours has basically collected some stuff from a local farm shop so Lee's just sorting it out and then we're going to go and deliver it to his sister yeah. um, and there's a couple of things in there hopefully that we've got which is some uh, chicken breasts and some sausage rolls you know sausage rolls is essential food yeah sausage rolls. so uh, hurry up with that because we're waiting to start the next film actually okay. right we're just gonna uh, go and drop these bags of food off at my sister's uh, so that should keep her going for uh, a week or so it's nice lots of fresh stuff steak pie some sausage rolls for the girls steak uh, pie that we stole half of yeah because it was a really big one and she only wanted a small one she said um so we kept half of that um and uh, loads of milk because the girls go through loads of milk with all the cereal so it's good that I c we can keep them in the house 
So we've had his little walk. Yeah. Froze his arse off. Absolutely freezing it. Is. Got some bits from that shop. We've got some apples as well, haven't we? Yeah. Um, Thanks for that kind name. Your name doesn't have to go out now. No. And um, there we go. Then we'll get back and um, I'm just gonna chill. I think I'm gonna go on the switch for a bit. You're gonna phone your back to Brenda, aren't you? Yeah. See how she is, because. I know we don't want to go about the virus, but my mind's fried a little bit at the minute because keeping um, up with all family, making sure they're all okay, and um, my mum's like my mum's cut her grass. Oh, she? Yeah, yeah. And now she's going to tidy the cellar. And then she says, when she's done that, she's no idea what she's going to do. <laughs> so I told her to start knitting again. She was like, I'm not knitting. Everybody's in the same boat at this, so uh, keep letting us know in the comments below, guys, what you guys are doing to stop yourself from going stir crazy. My mum used to knit my school cardigans. Yeah, so did my one. Di that, that, dis itchy. that distorted my childhood, that. Itchy, very itchy. Yeah. Um, so it's quite nice to be back around in Le the Leeds area. Uh, we haven't been for a while, have Even we? Even though we can't see people. Uh, there is a lot of people out on the streets that walk, and they're all keeping away from each other, which is great. But um, it's just quite hard to get out and about here without seeing a lot of people. Um, so anyway, let's drop these off at my sister's. Right, we're back. So that's my sister set up for food for a week or so. So that's good. And um, there's still lots of people out and about, but they are keeping the distance from each other. Um, so you can get out there and do your exercises, but um, you will have to avoid people. So I'm just making us some lunch. I'm gonna do this sandwich of um, Cajun style chicken slices, which was from the co-op, I think, the other night. So, I shall have this. Nick's just setting up a um, computer desk upstairs, which one of the neighbours has kind of lent us. So he's finally got a computer again to sit at, which will be nice. Um, might as well use all this balls, because it were frozen yesterday. And uh, we shall go and enjoy this. Put some chutney on it, and then I'm gonna have a rest. Did you enjoy that sandwich I made you? Mm, nice actually. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And that pickle that I had on it, ooh, delicious. Bit of chutney on a bit of Cajun chicken in a uh, nice fresh um, baguette. I'm going for a nice nana nap now. I feel you. exhausted today. No, I'm going in bed. Well now, one of our neighbors has lent me a desk. Yeah. I'll set a computer up in the computer room. Yeah, well you can get on there while I go for a nap. I'm gonna do. Can you get something under that chair so you don't mark the new carpet, please? It'll be fine. It won't. Well, I'll get the mark down in a minute. Oh, you could. I told you that hours ago. Did you? Yes, I did. What were you doing? I've had a nap after the day that I've had. What have you done? Don't even start. You must tell me because I've been with you every minute of it. Well, it started when my mum and dad said they were running out of fruit and veg. So Old got, people are drama queens. It got me into anxious mode and stress mode. Then my sister saying she needed some milk, so that got me into stress mode. So anyway, I'm happy now that we Did you just drink tea? You drink coffee? Black? Well, if you have to. Well, so, they're all sorted. You're all sorted with a desk. Oh, and just sort yourself with a mat under there. Three hours to get speakers working. Uh, Might have a cup of tea. Well, this PC now, when I, because when we were at the lodge, I forgot the Wi-Fi extender. I've had to build a Wi-Fi extender on the PC. So it's picking up our neighbour's Wi-Fi and then relaying it into the house. See? But it's pretty crap, so I'm having to do tethering. Oh, can you put me phone on, Jeff, please? Piss off! What's happening? I'm putting markers down. What, down? Some runners to stop the um, wheels on the chair marking the carpet. The new carpet. Do you like to... Just lift the table up. That's it. One more up to the side. And then I'll let you over it up. Oh no, I'm not moving again. You need to. I've already really over today. Well. I'm having a cup of tea. Again. I think it's frigging cold, me still. It is cold. You keep us with eating. I don't. I hide it up. So I'm having a cup of tea. And you're having your, your, uh, your dinner, you. lunch, or tea, whatever. Let me just put that there. Be careful. That's so, it. what are you having? You need to get rid uh, of this. Chicken tikka, chicken tikka masala. You can't leave this here now. Well, get the friggin' hoover out then. What? I wasn't in the 
started it. Yeah, well, just get it done, you. I've had a busy day. Get stuffed. Right, I've had my evening meal, which was beautiful. Um, Co-op chicken chow mein. Um, so, we are just about to do ghost stories on Excuse this guy. Oh, yeah. who's that? Yeah. <laughs> Our patrons are already oh, on the voice chat channel. So this is the first time we've done the ghost stories. Let me just mute them all. You can squeeze your um, quiz. So this is the first time that we've done a ghost stories. Even. So we've left it a little bit later so the kids can go to bed. Yeah. Uh, and it's dark outside and uh, we're going to put some eerie music on the Alexa. So, so I'm going to I'm going to record a few stories and just sort of like keep a few in. I feel like a radio presenter that I'm so doing a video. I'm I think you broadcast. should go first. I'll I'll oh, I'll, first. I'll vlog you. Oh, are you? Are yeah. you? I'm going first. Yeah. I'll vlog your story once we get started. Right. So, um I don't know where to start. <laughs> So I've got a story and first of all let me just say that I am very science minded and look for explanations and things like that but these two stories that I've got for you guys tonight I can't explain it but I know that they happened and one of them has got a bit of a twist which happened last year which I will tell you about when I get to the end. So when I was four years old and I was a kid uh, you know how you used to basically um, go to your mum's bedroom when you were in the middle of the night. You'd wake up in the middle of the night and you'd, you'd go to your mum's bedroom. Well, in the house that I lived at, the very first house, my bedroom was at the back of the house and my mum's bedroom was at the front of the house. And the, the bathroom used to be next to my bedroom, so it used to cast a shadow over the landing and light up the landing and my um, my mum's room. So one night, I remember getting up, as I used to do every night, about two or three in the morning, I got up, and I walked across the landing and walked into my mum's bedroom, which was all lit up, climbed in my mum's bed, and this is not a dream, I can remember this as if it was something I did this afternoon, and I got in bed and got between my mum and my dad and turned round and there was a man standing at the door, casting a shadow from the bathroom. And I immediately woke my mum up and told her, she turned and looked and when we both looked, he'd gone. And my mum can always remember this story that I've told her. And I can remember such details as that she had purple sheets on the bed and it was um, it was ironed, but she'd, she'd burnt them. And I can even remember the burn marks on the blankets. Anyway, last year she came to the lodge. We were in the car driving back from somewhere with my mum. And um, my mum admitted that she'd seen the same bloke. And she never told me that in 40 odd years. So I was like completely and utterly shocked that all my life I thought, she thought that I'd made it up and then she finally admitted last year when we were at the lodge that she'd actually seen the same guy in the same house. So there we go. Right, you can all unmute now and tell us what you thought. <laughs> yeah, you can. Let me unmute Tracy. Do you know what I was thinking when I say? Did you imagine telling a four year old, yeah, yeah, I can see the man. <laughs> Oh God, I'm, I'm going to down. <laughs> Me too. I don't think I'm going to sleep tonight. <laughs> so who wants to go next? Who wants, yeah, who wants to go next? It's quite similar to yours really. Like I said that mine was quite short and it is quite short. Um, but basically I was once at my mother's house and two or three months previously my auntie had died and she died in my mother's house. And um, I was in on my own and it was, I was sat in the living room and I was watching Silence of the Lambs and I never ever watched like scary kind of films. Um, and I was what, like sort of reading a magazine with that on in the background. And I just kept seeing like this thing like moving like across the door, like as if somebody was walking past the door to the, to the living room. And it happened about three or four times. And then I went, right, that's it, I've had enough now, you can, you can stop it, you can stop it, I know you're there, I know you're there, and that was it, it never happened after that again. But I'm 100% that somebody was walking past the door, it was really, really weird. Has anybody else had any um, weird experiences? I think Dad said like... he had one earlier. Yeah, but are we talking ghostly experience or some other kind of experience? So, I don't know if this is appropriate for this kind of chat. <laughs> Here we go. 
So I was a teenager. We used to live in this, this really old house when I was younger. Um, me, and my parents, my brother and sister. Um, I was about 15, 16, and I, whenever I used to lay on my back in bed, I used to get this really strange feeling down below, like this, this really <laughs> wet feeling. <laughs> We, we're getting a bed big, wetter. Sorry, I'm going to stop now, sorry. He's a bed wetter. You can't. <laughs> By 3 a.m. I figured I'd just Okay then, okay then, let me rephrase it then. Evo's we'll, on we'll now. Going between 1 and 4. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> the quickest we're home from the pub. I'm sure, I'm sure a ghost doesn't have a watch, Devo. Uh, I don't know. They seem like they have a lot of time on their hands to set alarms for, you know, I would definitely do that. I would been, um, I, I'd probably want to do it just to, just to kind of challenge myself. Really? <laughs> it, it is when you're all there. Like, I was just about to say, Dad would know best out of anything. If I were, if I were in a morgue and a body farted, I'd be straight out, believe me. I'm freaked out now because the patio lights have just come on. Oh my god, our patio lights have just turned on and there's nobody out there. Oh, it's a cat. It's a cat. Oh, it's a cat. It's okay, it's a cat. It's explained. Where? It's a cat. It was a white and ginger pussy. Whew. Yeah. Right guys, we're going to finish the vlog. We're just finishing it off. The guys on the chat are all going to finish the vlog with us, so please... Yes. <laughs> Thanks, <Dad. laughs> Thanks for watching today, guys. We're saying lots of rude words now. <laughs> Thanks for watching today, guys. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. Click the like button. Drop us a comment below. And the guys on Discord are all going to say goodbye to you. Right, say goodbye, guys. <laughs> Bye. We'll see you tomorrow, guys, for another uh, vlog from the lodge. Uh, no, from the house, from the even. House, <laughs> see you tomorrow.